Hey everybody, Matt Reed here from Painted Digital. I just wanted to do a couple quick app reviews uh, for the iPhone. I've been uh, using these two applications a little bit recently and the first one I wanted to start off with is called um, Fish Food Frenzy. Come over here. You gotta get it zoomed in. Yes. So this is a this is a free game um, that I found the other day, and it's it's sort of an addicting little game. Like when it loads, you play this little fish who you just chase around other fishes. But part of the reason I wanted to do a review is because it's so buggy um, that I really can't play it. Um, as you saw, I just loaded and it crashed, and so that's part of my review in the fact that. It's a really fun game when it works. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sound off, but it just crashes on me all the time. And I'm wondering if it has to do with these ads. Um, I'm really not sure, but I'll try and show you the gameplay. If it crashes, I'm just gonna move on. Um, but you can see at the bottom, there's this uh, little black bar that pops up, and that is the open faint game system. Um, and that's actually how I found this game. I'm going to actually quit this and show you the Open Faint app. Um, Open Faint is sort of sells itself as an Xbox Live for the iPhone. And they say right here, check back daily to see a free game of the day. And that's how I found the, uh, the Fish Food Frenzy game. And like today, this is the free game. And you can see it and download it. Um, so it's a pretty cool little system, and I can go in and see um, some of the games that my friends have and check out their uh, similar games and stuff, and I just like the system. I think it's really cool, and I'd like to see more people using it. Um, you can see I really don't have that many games that use it yet, but I'd like to see some more developers um, making games for it, and it sort of has this... Um, scoring system where you kind of earn these rewards or unlock things in the game. Um, you can go to achievements and see what you've unlocked and you can actually see what your friends have unlocked. So I think it's a good system um, and I'd like to see, you know, like I said, just more friends on it. Um, so if you have it, you can add me. Um, my Twitter name, I, I think you have to do it through Twitter or Facebook, I'm not sure, but Either way, you can find me at twitter.com slash paintedigital or facebook.com slash paintedigital and add me as a friend. Um, and hopefully, we'll start seeing more games with this system built in. But um, one of the other things that I kind of wanted to throw out there um, for developers is just the gameplay based around the Fish Food Frenzy game. Um, the way it works is you can sort of pick up that game and play it for 30 seconds or 5 minutes. Um, it's not a really in-depth game, so you're probably not going to be playing it much longer. But I find that personally... How long is this? 3.35? Oh, okay, we're good. It just keeps zooming in and out. Oh. Uh, we, we have a Canon Vixia HF100 that the zoom has gone crazy on, so if you see it zooming in and out on me, it's because it, the zoom just goes on its own. Um, but what I was going to say is, there's, I find myself coming back to these games that you can pick up for 30 seconds to a minute, um, you know, whether I'm waiting for a page to load, or I'm waiting in a line, or I'm just waiting in the car for, uh, you know, for a friend or for my wife or whatever, um, I just find that I, I go, I gravitate to those quick games. And you may have noticed that I have the game Trenches on here. Trenches is a beautiful game. It's a lot of fun. But I don't play it nearly as much as that fish food game because I find that I have to dedicate, you know, five minutes, even ten minutes, which is a short amount of time. But when I'm just waiting for, you know, two or three minutes, I think, oh, well, I'll just play a quick game of this. Or um, I played, uh, oh, I forgot the name of it now. Um, a, a Peggle. Um, 
Peggle all the time, and I've, I've practically beaten it, um, so I don't pay, play it as much. But just a just an idea for developers to think about that. Just on on the iPhone platform, for me, a short game is is where it's at. That's just the games that I come back and uh, play more. So anyway, thanks for watching.